This happened roughly around mid-November 2017. I was working the night shift at my local 7-Eleven, and my coworker was in the back throwing trash in the dumpster. I was out front taking care of customers. I was making sure all of our write-offs were done when I heard two customers fighting over a pack of cheese balls. It was a girl in her late 20s and a woman in her late 30s. They were seconds away from scratching each other's faces out. I ran to them to stop their fight. Um, ma'am, please don't be violent to one another. I saw the last bag of cheese balls. Oh, you freaking liar. They were again charging at each other, so I stood between them and said, We have a lot more in the storeroom, ma'am. I'm about to restock the shelves. I will get one more packet for you. I got the woman her packet of cheese balls, and she left the store making faces at the girl. The girl looked rough, if I'm being honest. There were needle marks on her hands, and she constantly scratched herself with her unclean fingernails. Do you need help with anything else? Why, are you waiting for me to leave? Even though I was, I still tried to be nice to her, as she was our customer. A few other people were shopping at the store and looking at us. Everyone judged the girl with their disgusted eyes. No, ma'am. My job is to help you in case you need it. Well, I don't need it! Fine. I'll be at the counter. I went back to the counter. The woman bought a bag of chips and a bottle of fruit juice and left while giving me her death stare. God, how am I still doing this job? I kept asking myself the rest of my shift. Once I got off work handing the keys to the night shift worker, I warned her about this woman. I went home, had some dinner, fell asleep right away. Hello? Claire, you won't believe what just happened last night. The girl you talked about came back, man. What? Did she do anything stupid? She kept asking about you and said she'd be waiting for you. Crazy witch. I think it's time you inform the owner about her before going to work. Why? You don't think she'll try to hurt me, right? You never know, dude. People can be unpredictable. Thanks for the heads up, Mandy. I disconnected the call and sat on the bed with a worried face. I was wondering whether I should call the owner or not when a huge rock landed on my bedroom floor, shattering the glass of my window. What the hell? I jumped from the bed and rushed to see who did this. As I peeked from the window, another huge piece of rock came flying at me. Luckily, I had good reflexes, so I moved away. I waited for a few seconds, just to ensure no more attacks coming my way. And when I looked down, I saw that girl from the 7-Eleven last night. She was standing outside my apartment, chuckling like a freak. <laughs> wakey, wakey, sunshine. What the hell is wrong with you? Watch me make your life a living hell. I watched her walk away. I have never been so scared in my life. I am living alone in this new city, and God knows what that deranged lady is capable of. I wasn't going to take any more risks. I would have called the cops, but I decided to talk to the owner first. I called Mr. Gonzalez and told him everything. I even sent him snaps of my broken window and those big pieces of rocks. He told me not to be scared of the girl and just come to the store for the shift. He said he would be there today. I felt a little relieved, thinking if the girl decided to follow me to work now, I would at least have someone to watch my back. I got ready and finally went to work. Mr. Gonzalez was handling the counter today. We exchanged greetings, and I went to stack the shelves with new, fresh supplies. Three hours went by, and when the girl still didn't show up, I was positive she wouldn't be seen anymore. But, man, I was wrong. I turned my head to see the girl standing inside the store with an evil smile on her face. We made eye contact, and a shiver ran down my spine. I looked at my boss, and he understood the assignment. Hey, you. Yes? Help me find the chips, please. Sure, this way. We started walking down the aisle. I was leading the way. She was following me. I could hear her chuckling and whispering obscenities at me, but she was speaking in a low volume so only I could hear it. Tonight, when you'll sleep in your bed, I'll sneak into your room and I will cut your chest open. I will take out your heart because you don't deserve it. Okay, that's it. I turned around and pushed her out of my way and went straight to my boss. I told him everything and he yelled at the woman. How dare you touch me, freak? Ma'am, enough. We need you to leave now. Her eyes just zoomed from my face to my boss's. 
Her bony cheeks started to get red in anger. While breathing like a monster, she said, Who are you to order me? I own this store, and I'm not going to order you twice. You son of a... You want money, witch? Is that what this is all about, huh? You think I don't have money? I'll show you, you wait. Saying this, she took out a bunch of cards and started throwing them at Mr. Gonzalez like they were dollars. This girl was utterly delusional. I don't know what drug she took to become this way. Slowly, the situation escalated and she started throwing whatever she could find at my boss. Mr. Gonzalez lost his calm at one point and started throwing back things at the girl too. I'll kill you! Fear me, witch! Fear me! She was screaming and having this total meltdown. When Mr. Gonzalez came at her and grabbing her hand, he pushed her out of the store. The girl fell on the sidewalk, losing her balance, but she immediately got humbled. She sat there crying for a while and then left. I never saw her again, but I hope she's doing better. The story you just saw is loosely based on this real video. The woman in the video is a customer visiting this 7-Eleven store in Hawaii. But she, for some reason, feels bad about the service. She started trashing the place and throwing stuff at the cashier. But soon, her madness takes a turn for the worse. Losing patience, the 7-Eleven worker acts out by slapping the woman and then pushing her out of the store. Let us know in the comments if you have ever encountered anything weird in your local I was stacking the sandwiches in the freezer when I heard the shop bell ring. Here comes another customer. I went back to the counter and saw this old woman with a tired face standing in the store. She was looking for something. Ma'am, do you need any help? I would like a strawberry shake. The drinks are in the next aisle. Do you want me to get it for you? Oh no, dear. You've been so sweet. I'll check it myself. With her trembling, slow steps, she headed for the second aisle. My eyes went back to the entrance, hearing the second ding. And now there was a man. A man who looked like he hadn't eaten in days. His eyes were wide and he had a creepy stare. But obviously, I didn't want to be rude to a customer, so I asked... Can I help you? I am here for a sandwich. I, I have money. I gestured toward the back of the store. He hurried like a hungry mouse. I watched him tear off the sandwich wrapper and start gobbling at it. I didn't disturb him, as I expected him to pay on his way out. <coughs> In between his bites, he was making eye contact with me. His eyes never blinked whenever we looked at each other. God, he's so creepy. Hello, dear. I had one shake standing here near the aisle. Hope it won't be a problem. Oh, no, it's fine. I would like to buy one more. Here. The old woman placed a strawberry shake on the counter and asked, How much is it for two of these? While taking the money from her, I glanced back at the man, and he was almost done with his sandwich. He, too, was walking towards the counter now. Thank God he's leaving. I felt relieved. I was handing the change to the old woman when the man stopped in front of the counter and said, One sandwich. Sorry I didn't pay first. I was really hungry. It's fine. I started billing him, and the old woman was walking towards the exit. When she was almost out the door, she turned back and asked, can I use your washroom? Definitely. It's on the end to your right. Seeing the woman walk back into the store, the man's behavior changed. He got self-conscious and nervous all of a sudden. Here's your change. Visit us again. He didn't take the change from my hand. Instead, he leaned closer and started doing small talk. So what time does this store close? What? Just asking. Maybe you should get going. I have tons of work. I started typing in the system, pretending to be busy. I thought if I just ignored him, he would go away. But he just kept standing there. Excuse me, is there anything else? Yes, yes. Would you like to go for a smoke with me? No, I don't smoke and I'm working, dude. What the hell is your problem? He got tense, but still tried convincing me to spend more time with him. No need to get angry. Just take a break. I can see you look tired. 
Look, if you don't leave right now, I'll have to call the manager. Also, there are CCTV cameras all over the store. Please don't be so hyper. Just try to understand what I'm saying. I, I don't want to hear any of this. Our argument was getting worse when I heard a voice. Is he bothering you, dear? I looked behind the man, and it was the old woman. I completely forgot her as she went to use the bathroom. But seeing her in the store, I got back my courage. I grabbed my phone and yelled, I'm calling 911. You need to leave now. Leave her alone. Go back to the streets, you punk. I was so proud of the old woman for standing up for me. She warned the man. I'm staying right here until you go, weirdo. You heard me. The man looked back at me with a helpless, sad expression like he was so disappointed with life. And then he started walking towards the entrance. I was worried as the old woman was also on her way out. As the man walked closer, I kept praying to God that he didn't do anything reckless. He was inches away from walking past the woman when he suddenly turned back and jumped on her. Get off of me! Get off of me, you scum! The man pinned the poor woman down on the floor and they began struggling. The old woman was trying her best to free herself from his grasp, but she was not strong enough to stop him. Let me go! Now! Hello? 911? You need to send someone here. There's a man who has gotten into the store and attacked a customer. I'm calling from the 7-Eleven on the highway. The operator kept consoling me, saying help is on the way. I was thinking to go help the old woman when something shocking happened. The man grabbed something from the old woman's pocket and flung it on the floor. She... she's not what she seems. I saw the knife when she was going for the bathroom. My world collapsed under my feet as I saw that cute old woman's face change into a hideous witch. Ah, what are you gonna do now? You ruined all my plans! I will kill you! A few seconds ago, the woman who felt so helpless and fragile to me was now standing in the store, breathing like a raging bull. Her eyes were bloodshot. She tried to attack the man, but this time, I heard cop cars outside the store. Police! Put your hands over your head! The woman was arrested, and the cops identified her as the granny killer. For the last few weeks, she's been said to target empty convenience stores. She would come in when there was no one in the store except the night worker, and she would stab them to death. After making sure no one in the store could stop her, she would rob the store and leave for her next killing. I thanked and also apologized to the man. We often forget real evil comes with many masks. Stormy night, huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't see there. (laughs) But I saw you, coming at this store in the storm like a cat who hates water. (laughs) You're funny. Hey, babe. Where are you, Mike? I'm the 7-Eleven near the high road. What are you doing there? (sighs) My car broke down and heavy rain started. Let me see if I can call a mechanic from the store. Oh, God. Will that take a while? I'm trying to be there as soon as possible, babe. Try to understand, okay? I don't know what to say to you. Everyone's here, Mike. I know. I'll be there soon. I've got to go now. Calling you once I get back on the road. Ugh, fine. Hey, is there a mechanic nearby? My network isn't working properly. Was that your girlfriend? Uh, yeah. How long have you guys been dating? Uh, six months. Is she beautiful? (laughs) Of course. Very pretty. Prettier than me? What? (laughs) I was kidding. Look at your face. Hey, man. Dude, I'm coming to get you, okay? Uh, That'll be so much help, man. I didn't think I'd find any mechanic in this weather. Yeah, I guess that. Can you share your location? Sure, I'll try. Sent. Got it. So you alone there? Um, how fast can you get here? Why? And why are you whispering all of a sudden? 
Nothing. It's just the woman working here. She's a little weird. Is she hot? Shut up. Oh, come on. Tell me. This is quite an interesting driving conversation. <sighs> She's fine. Looks a little older to me underneath all that makeup. What is she doing now? Staring outside the window? What is she wearing? The obvious 7-Eleven t-shirt. Is that tight for her? Stop being gross, Trevor. You just got your girlfriend back. Who said I wanted her to be my girlfriend? I'm driving all this way. There's nothing wrong to have a little snack before driving back. Ah, crap. What? What happened? I think she saw me secretly looking at her. Now she'll think I'm a creep. Go talk to her. Why waste time like this? Just shut up, Trevor. Get here faster. Do you need any help? If you're looking for something to eat, I can get it for you. Can you see me now? You didn't answer my question. Look, I don't need any help. I'm just waiting here for my friend. But I really want to help you. Maybe we have tools in the basement that can fix your car. Why don't we go down there and check? I said I don't need your help, so back off. <laughs> I think your friend is here. Mike? Mike! Stormy night, huh? Oh, sorry. You must be the... Okay, enough. We need to go. Bro, I was trying to talk to her. You really don't want to, Trevor. Trust me. Just drive, dude! Please, just drive! Okay, okay! No need to go all psycho, man. Stormy night, huh? <laughs>